Kimfire interview? Yes. What is your name? Pranay. Are you married? No. Why? Are no yaar. What is your age? My age after 15 years will be 5 times of my age 5 years back. We shall discuss a concept in quantitative aptitude that is problems on ages. Let's understand the types of questions which are usually asked in this concept. Here we go. Type 1. The ratio between the present ages of P and Q is 6 to 7. If Q is 4 years old than P, what will be the ratio of ages of P and Q after 4 years? Here we can find some ratios and data given. Based on this, we need to find the solution to the question. So let's name this type of questions as ratio problems. Next, type 2. 18 years ago, a father was 3 times as old as his son. Now the father is only twice as old as his son. Then sum of present ages of son and father is. Here we can see some relation data is given between a father and his son. In other case, it might be in between a grandmother and her daughter and so on. Let's name this type of question as relationship data problems. And type 3, what is Ravi's present age? There are three statements given. The first statement states that the present age of Ravi is half of that of his father. And the second statement, after 5 years, the ratio of Ravi's age to that of father's age will be 6 is to 11. And the third statement, Ravi is 5 years younger than his brother. Here we can find three statements and we need to find out Which statement of these are sufficient to answer the question? It might be one, it might be any two, or all the three, depending on the question. So let's name this type of question as data sufficiency problems. Having understood the categories involved in this concept, let's solve the type one problems, that is ratio questions. Firstly, divide the question into parts. Then assume the present age as x. as the current age is x m years ago or m years back will be x minus m m years after or m years hence will be x plus m m times of x will be mx and 1 by m times of x will be x by m finally we need to derive an equation from each divided part of the question to find the solution keep in mind that this is a standard format to solve all types of questions in the ages concept so let's utilize this format in solving the previous problem again Let's take the first part of the question in the first column. Similarly, the second part of the question in the second column. And finally, the last one in the last column. Let's assume the present age as x given ratio is 6 is to 7 as the present age is x. Let's say p is to q is equal to 6x is to 7x. Therefore, p is equal to 6x, q is equal to 7x. Q is four years old than p. Old is the keyword. We have to add. What we have to add? Four. Therefore, from the second statement, q is p plus four. 7x is equal to 6x plus four. X is equal to four. on substituting this in the ratio we'll be getting p is to q is equal to 24 is to 28 and what will be the ratio after 4 years the ratio we have achieved is 24 is to 28 and after 4 years it would be 28 is to 32 how did we get that by adding 4 to both the numbers that's it let's solve another question in the ratio problems the present ages of three persons are in proportions 4 is to 7 is to 9 80 years ago the sum of their ages was 56 find their present ages in the previous question we were asked to find out the ratio after 4 years but here we need to find the present ages we shall divide the question into parts and drop them in these columns present age ratios of three persons 
let's say the three persons as a b and c a is to b is to c is equal to 4 is to 7 is to 9 let's take the present age as x now a is to b is to c is equal to 4x is to 7x is to 9x therefore a is equal to 4x b is equal to 7x c is equal to 9x let's take 8 years ago in the second column here ago is the keyword therefore you have to subtract what you have to subtract is 8 now a becomes 4x minus 8 b becomes 7x minus 8 and c becomes 9x minus 8 it is given as sum of their ages was 56 8 years ago if it is sum then you have to add so a plus b plus c is equal to 56 therefore 4x minus 8 plus 7x minus 8 plus 9x minus 8 is equal to 56 20x minus 24 is equal to 56 on simplification you will be getting x is equal to Four, and to get the present ages, you have to substitute this value in A, B, and C. And the final ages of A, B, and C are sixteen, twenty-eight, and thirty-six, respectively. That's it. Let's have a glance at the standard format or steps to solve these problems again. Firstly, divide the question into parts. Then assume the present age as x. As the current age is x. M years ago or M years back will be x minus M. M years after or M years hence will be x plus M. M times of x will be m x, and one by m times of x will be x by m. Finally, we need to derive an equation from each divided part of the question to find the solution. Eighteen years ago, a father was three times as old as his son. Now the father is only twice as old as his son. Then sum of present ages of son and father is. Here, the relationship data between a father and son is given 18 years ago, and also the present relationship data is also given. Based on this, we need to find the sum of present ages of son and father. So let's solve this problem. Our first step is to divide the question into parts. Here, let's drop the second statement in the first column, as the second statement indicates the present age relationship between a father and a son. Let's say the present age of son is equal to x. If son's present age is x, then father is twice as old as son, so father's age will be two x. Eighteen years ago, father was three times as old as his son, so father is three times of son. Eighteen years ago, so f minus eighteen is equal to three into s minus eighteen, because if it is ago, you need to subtract. And what you have to subtract is eighteen. Therefore, two x minus eighteen is equal to three into x minus eighteen. We will be getting on simplification x is equal to thirty six. And in the final column, let's drop the last statement. So the question is: sum of present ages of son and father is. We need to find the sum of son and father's age. So x plus two x is equal to thirty six. Plus seventy-two, and you'll be getting one not eight. This is the sum of ages of son and father. That's it. Let's solve another problem. Rajan got married eight years ago. His present age is six by five times his age at time of marriage. Rajan's sister was ten times younger to him at time of marriage. The age of Rajan's sister is. Here we need to find the age of Rajan as well as age of Rajan's sister. So let's solve this problem. Let's understand the age of Rajan at present and also at marriage. Let's assume Rajan's present age as x. His age at time of marriage is x minus eight. As Rajan got married eight years ago to his present age, Rajan's present age is six by five times his age at time of marriage. On cross multiplication, you will be getting five x is equal to six x minus forty eight. So x is equal to forty-eight on simplification. If present age of Rajan is forty-eight, then what will be his age eight years ago? That is, at time of marriage, it is forty. 
Now, what is Rajan's sister's age? From the third statement, Rajan's sister was 10 times younger to him at time of marriage. What is Rajan's age at time of his marriage? 40. Let's assume Rajan's sister's age as Y. As Rajan's sister is 10 times younger to him at time of his marriage, her age will be 40 minus 10, that is 30. And that is not the end. This age was 8 years ago and her present age will be 30 plus 8, that is 38. That's it. This is Rajan's sister's age at present. The total age of A and B is 12 years more than the total age of B and C. C is how many years younger than A? To solve this, let's drop the first statement in the first column. It states that the total age of A and B is 12 years more than the total age of B and C. Here, total means you have to add. So, A plus B is equal to 12 plus B plus C. That is what it suggests. A plus B is equal to 12 plus B plus C. Therefore, A plus B minus B minus C is equal to 12. A minus C is equal to 12. C is how many years younger than A? As A minus C is equal to 12, A is equal to 12 plus C. This means that A is 12 years elder than C. So, C is obviously 12 years younger than A. Divya is twice as old as Shruti. What is the difference in their ages? The first statement states that 5 years hence, the ratio of their ages would be 9 is to 5. 10 years back, the ratio of their ages was 3 is to 1. In this question, we need to find out which of these statements are sufficient to answer the question. It might be 1 or 2 or both of them. So, let's solve this problem. So, from the question, Divya is twice as old as Shruti. So, let's say S is equal to X and D is equal to 2X. Now, from the first statement, 5 years hence, so you have to add. And the ratio is given, that is 9 is to 5. Therefore, D plus 5 by S plus 5 is equal to 9 by 5. 2X plus 5 by x plus 5 is equal to 9 by 5 on cross multiplication 10x plus 25 is equal to 9x plus 45 therefore on simplification you will be getting x is equal to 20 substituting this value you will be getting s is equal to 20 and d as 40 so what is the question asked what is the difference in their ages? So, using the first statement, we can find the difference between Divya and Shruti. Now, let's check for statement 2. 10 years back, that is, you have to subtract. The ratio is given as 3 is to 1. Like what we did in the first statement, D minus 10 by S minus 10 is equal to 3 by 1. Therefore, 2X minus 10 is equal to 3 into X minus 10. 2x minus 10 is equal to 3x minus 30. x is equal to 20. So, you have got the same value here also. On substituting this, in what we have achieved in the question, we get the values of Shruti and Divya's age. So, by using statement 2, we can also get the solution to the question. Finally, what is the answer? 1 or 2 is sufficient to answer the question. So, any one among these two statements is enough to answer the question. So, let's solve another problem in this type. What will be the ratio between the ages of Sam and Albert after 5 years? Statement 1. Sam's present age is more than Albert's present age by 4 years. Statement 2. Albert's present age is 20 years. Statement 3. The ratio of Albert's present age to Sam's present age is 5 is to 6. Let's solve the problem like how we did earlier. So, the statement 1 states that Sam's present age is more than Albert's present age by 4 years. So, you have to add. Therefore, S is equal to A plus 4. This is what we can observe in statement 1. Now, statement 2. Albert's present age is 20 years. Let's think that you already know this equation. 
taking this into account as a is equal to 20 which is given in statement 2 s will be 20 plus 4 that is 24 so sam's age is 24 years and albert's age is 20 years according to statement 2 now look for what is asked in the question what will be the ratio between ages of sam and albert after 5 years is asking us the ratio after 5 years so this is the present age and what you have to do if you want to know the ratio after 5 years first we have to add 5 so it becomes s by a is equal to 29 by 25 this is the ratio after 5 years so by using 1 and 2 statements we successfully solve the problem now let's take statement 3 the ratio of Albert's present age to Sam's present age is 5 is to 6. If we take the second statement along with statement 3, A by S is equal to 5 by 6, which is given in statement 3. If we take statement 2 as reference, then Albert's age is already given. So 20 by S is equal to 5 by 6. On cross multiplication, you will be getting 5s is equal to 120 therefore s will be 24 we know the value of a and we know the value of s and what is the question asked ratio between sam and albert after five years finding the ratio after five years is similar to what we have done before by adding 5 to both the numbers we will be getting 29 by 25 therefore by using the second and third statements we can also derive the solution to the question Similarly, we can derive the solution by using first and third statements as well. Therefore, any two of three are sufficient to answer the question. That's it. We have solved the data sufficiency questions. With this, we have completed the concept of ages. Make sure you practice as many questions as possible.